Real Madrid and Carlos Ancelotti were shocked Tuesday when they somehow lost 2-1 to a team that is currently sitting third in the Moldovan National Division. This is a club with a stadium that has 12,000 seats that is going to the Bernabeu and winning the match. Real Madrid were outplayed in this match, and Sheriff had great tactics under Yuri Vernadub. However, was this a lucky victory for Sheriff, or did Yuri just have better tactics than Ancelotti this match? I will deep dive into the tactics to show how Sheriff Terraspool beat Real Madrid at the Bernabeu in the Champions League. Real Madrid went into this match with a normal 4-3-3 formation. Real Madrid, when they are playing this formation, try to play their whole attack through Benzema in the 9. They will look to constantly play the ball to his feet where he can look for attacking runs from the two center midfielders and the two wingers beside him. He also sometimes receives the ball here and takes on the shot as well. This has been a very successful tactic for Madrid and Benzema as they have been dominant in La Liga this season. However, Sheriff tactically set up to try to stop these balls going into Benzema. They were set up in a 4-2-3-1 formation so they could constantly have 6 men back to block these passes. The two DMs sat in front of the defense for most of this match which made it very difficult for Madrid to play down the middle. Throughout this match, Sheriff was very defensively sound and was very disciplined with it making them very hard to break down. When they won possession, they broke quickly and very dangerously, getting most of their attacks out of these counters. In the 13th minute of the match, it was shown how aggressively Sheriff wanted to stop these balls into Benzema's feet. When Valverde received a pass deep from Militao at the halfway line, he tried to play a ball to Benzema's feet who was a little ways away from the edge of the box. When he makes the pass, Gustavo Delante jumps right onto it and intercepts it before it can get to him. If this pass made it to Benzema, he would have had a 3-on-3 with Vinicius on his left and Hazard coming in on the right, showing how important it was for Sheriff to break up those passes. Sheriff also had great attacking tactics as well, and even in possession, they were dangerous. In the 24th minute, Sheriff showed this, when Sebastian Till would play an amazing through ball to Sheriff left back Cristiano. When this is happening, you can see the tactics from Sheriff confusing Madrid's back line and midfield. At this time, Nacho at right back was marking both the left back and left winger for Sheriff, as they created an overload that Valverde was too far away to see. This overload caused a numerical advantage towards Sheriff as they broke quickly from this ball with Cristiano having it on the edge of the box. He would play a wonderful cross to Sheriff striker Yasserbik as David Alaba would be too late to catch up to it as he puts in the header. The overload caused by the left back run caused this mess in Real Madrid's back line as they were not expecting it. Throughout this match, Sheriff were very lucky at times as Madrid could not finish chances and Sheriff keeper Georges Athanasidis had a wonderful night with 10 saves. He was dominant between the sticks, as Madrid's only goal came from the penalty spot. He was what kept Sheriff in the game so many times throughout it, being very clutch. In the 89th minute, Sheriff got a throw in after a beautiful defensive stop on the other end. Here a bit of skill and flair won Sheriff this match. The throw in would go into Adam Traore's chest, and he would play a ball on the bounce to Sebastian Till, who would blast it into the top left corner. This was an unstoppable shot that Madrid could not save, showing they had some unluckiness in this match. However, I still think Sheriff and their management had a very good game plan going into this match. They definitely deserved to win this match and played very well.